First, you got the pH one. It's made for the hydroponics market. Very easy to calibrate. Takeoff cap. You can use it for measuring samples or putting in uh, storage solution or calibration solution. Always wise to calibrate and measure at the same size container at all times. All the time. You have your glass bulb there. Turn it on. This is pH seven. Should cal to cal it. Lunch a couple times. Read so. Nice. That's how fast it takes a cal. Single point calibration. Single with that point one? calibration on the pH one. The two is the same way to calibrate it. You got dual point and automatic temperature compensation. So temperature change with pH. Uh, TDS meters. Uh, same thing. The big question we get all the time is why the TDS meter does not calibrate in the general hydroponic solution that reads like 3000. It's because we have a TDS factor that's factory set at 0.71. When you turn the meter on, you'll look there, you'll see it'll say TF, you know, 0.72 is what it's set at. You can change this by holding the cal button, turning the meter on, letting this do its factor. Okay. You hit the top button. You keep hitting this. After a thousand, it'll roll back around. It only goes up. You leave it at 0.51, let it go. And this is to be able to calibrate it with GH's calibration. They have solution. a solution out there that when you put our meter in, it, it reads, reads OR. Okay. And it says it's out of range because this only goes up to 1999. I see. Theirs goes up to like 3000 or okay. something. When you change it to 0.51, their solution is supposed to read 1500 at salt, sodium chloride. Okay. This will read it exactly on the head. Oh, perfect. Okay, Thank once you. you change it, but it comes in at 0.71. And then these, again, you know, the dual range ones, pretty simple. These are our road ones, they've been around a while. So, uh, basically, you know, you can do your pH. Temperature as well, you can change that to Fahrenheit or Celsius by changing the mode here. You can go to connectivity. You can read TDS, you see the 0.71 there again is changeable. You can read salt, which is a nonlinear curve. And you can go back to pH. Sure. A little more higher end, but uh, replaceable sensor as well when it goes bad. You have pH on one side, connectivity on the other. You can do the buffer solutions for. Seven and ten. Seven. We also have a full range of connectivity. And then very, very important is your electric storage solution. Over time the electrode will tend to take on the characteristics of the liquid that it measures. So if you store it in seven, over over time it will be stuck at seven. If you only store it in four, it'll be stuck at four. And that's because the liquid inside the probe is a four molar potassium chloride. And that's what this is. So when you store it in your cap and you store the liquid in here, it'll kind of help regenerate it over time. Yeah, cleaning solution also. Also doing buffer pouches.